Hello and welcome to the final section here in this chapter. This is 4.4 .4, polygons in the coordinate plane. We're going to look here at our second paragraph. The coordinate plane is the official term for a grid. In this section you will plot points, then find distances on the grid to find its area and perimeter. Example A. The vertices of a rectangle are R is at 2 comma 8, so we're going to plot our points. So I'm going to go to the grid, the coordinate plane below, and I'm going to plot 2 comma 8. Reminder that the first number 2 means how far over on the x-axis, and the number 8 means how far up on the y-axis. So 2, 8 is over 2, 1, 2, and then up 8 spots. And that will get us all the way up to right there. I'll probably remove the ones on the bottom. So that is 2 comma 8, and I should label it either by its letter or by its actual coordinate number. The second point is S. It is at 5 comma 8, so that would mean over 5 and up 8 spots. I'll put it on the intersection of the lines and I'm going to call it letter S. T is at 5 comma 1, which means over 5, up 1. And U is at 2 comma 1, over 2 and up 1. It says next to draw the rectangle in the coordinate plane, so I'm now going to connect my dots. It does form a rectangle as stated in the directions, and I'm going to find its area and perimeter. So I got two questions here, so first I'm going to find the area. Now I need to use the correct formula. This is a rectangle, so my formula is base times height. When you get to the back, you might have different shapes using, utilizing different formulas. So I'm going to look now for my base and my height. Just like we practiced earlier, our base is the bottom in this case. It is 1, 2, 3. And my height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now I'm going to plug it into my math, e math equation. Area equals 3 times 7. So therefore area equals 21 units squared. And that's going back to elementary school. If I actually counted the number of dots inside of the shape, I would actually encounter that there are 21 uh, boxes or dots inside of the shape. Reminder that this one had a second question. It also asked you to find the perimeter as well. To find the perimeter, we need to add all sides of the polygon. So the bottom side is 3, the right side is 7. The top is also 3, and the left side is 7. When I add those together, and I can add them in any order I want, utilizing my associative property, I probably just want to group the first two and the second two. So I get 10 plus 10. So my perimeter is 20. Now it is 20 units, it is not unit squared. Unit squared will represent the squares inside, that's only area. A distance is just measured in typical units like feet or inches, etc. That is our only example on this page. This page is set up a little differently. You now have our typical five questions uh, that we usually do, which you can enter your answers online. Uh, it starts with number one on the bottom of the front, that's why I set up a little bit differently. Remember to plot your points, remember to label your points by its letter, and remember to answer the question being asked. Some of them say find the area, some say perimeter, um, and some, there are not all parallelograms. We have some trapezoids on the back as well, so be very careful about those. Good luck and we'll see you tomorrow.